Well, here we go everybody. Nice start to the session. An absolutely mint, scale perfect, 27 half pound common. Which proper gives us a run around. Fought like crazy. What a perfect looking fish. Look at the size of the paddle on that. Absolutely enormous. Crack and fight. What a fantastic start. It's a male fish as well because it's actually uh, melting out on the mat now. No one it was to full of fight. I'll just spin around quick, show the other side and get it straight back. A classic shape, chunky common. Fantastic colours in the morning sun. There we go, how's that? Happy days. Absolutely chuffed to bits with that. Aji's new bait as well I'm testing out on this trip as well. It's a meat version one, so that's off to a crack and start. First time I've used the bait. Nice one Ryan and Greg, and Joe Chuckles. Cheers chaps. Right, there we go. Happy days. Putting this nice common back. How's that for the stunner? There she goes. Hello again, my carpy friends. We're back on the bank chasing these big carp again. Sunshine as usual, but it's been a bit cooler today, so fingers crossed something might, might get on the feed. I've been here for a couple of hours now, because like I say, I'd, Arrived this morning and it was uh, all overcast and it had been pouring down with rain and everything so I got everything sorted straight away. It was like a drowned rat at first getting set up like absolutely lashed down, it was bouncing. But it was quite a pleasure after all the sunshine we've had so yeah. Um, on Deepens one again, like I say chasing these big calf. Loads out there for us to go for. Um, I've gone in the long cast swim again. I mean, that was in vlog 6 I think, where I did the bivvy, waterproof the bivvy, that swim. Um, like I say, house is all up, everything's all up and ready like I say, because I got here, it was pouring down, so all the gear was sorted and put out as soon as I could. 
Rods are up, all ready to go on the dance floor, as they say. Got three on the same pod this time, same rod rest this time. Next to change from all being singles, they're all in similar areas. So, this is the swim of the bar over to my right, which goes across, like I say, from these two islands, which you've seen loads of times before. I've got a bait on the far end there. Up towards that island, uh, I've got a bait in line with the end of that island there, that tree there on the top. That's at about uh, 12 wraps that one. And I've put one really short for a change, just to try it out. I've seen a fish show on my last couple of trips when I've been in other swims in this area, so I've put one fairly short over to my left hand side here. See if that produces anything. Um, all spawned up as usual, plenty of bait on the right hand rod, fair bit of bait on the middle rod to the island and the left hand rod's got about three pouch full of boilies on it. I'm trying a new boilie this week from RG Baits that we're testing. So that's all, uh, all top secret at the moment as they say. Just see how it goes. Fingers crossed it's another winner because I've caught on all the baits so far, so hopefully I'll carry on doing the same with this one. Fingers crossed as, as usual. So like I say, I'll set up. Just a quick, quick, a quickie one this one. The skies are all clear now, all nice and sunny again, so just sit back and wait. Time for a spot of lunch, and I'll get back to you later on this afternoon if I have anything to report. Okay, then I'll leave it there for now. Just a quick overview of what's going on. And I'll speak to you all again soon. Cheers for now. Bye. Hello again, everyone. I forgot to mention in my last little intro, main man's with us again. Our Archie, grandson. He's just been the car for his rods. He's on his way back now. He's just coming down here now. I need him coming. There he is. Yeah, Alright, Joe. Yeah. Thanks. Get all you get, you ready? Yeah. One chest, these are there. Yeah. Good lad. Right, okay then. Almost time for a bit of tea. So we're getting the tea on shortly. Good old paninis again. Can't fault them. Love them. Okay then. Speak to you all again soon. Cheers now. Hello again, everyone. It's my favourite time of day. It's panini time. Get in there. After last week's uh, trial with the corned beef, went down an absolute treat with me and Archie, so we've gone to that again, if I can find it, yep. Obviously from Lidl, so we're going to have our, our paninis, our corned beef paninis, followed by a Muller Light raspberry and cranberry yoghurt, that's for my afters. Archie's okay, he's gone full fat with his raspberry yoghurt. That'll be followed by a nice cup of tea in the chasing big carp kettle. Nothing else to report at the moment. Rods are all set, they're all out there now. So it's just down the carp now really. So just see how it goes. Fingers crossed something turns up shortly. I am feeling fairly confident I must admit. So hopefully something will come to one of the three rods. I'm being battered by the birds at the moment, man, I must admit. Coats, swans, tufties, a lot. They're all nailing me at the moment. But I'll part the fun, as they say. So keep plugging away. Like I say, I'm going to crack on and have this tea. Have a sip by the rods. See if I can see anything moving about. And then just see what happens tonight. So if anything occurs, I'll catch up with you shortly. If not, I'll get back to you in a bit. Okay then. What a cracking view on a nice evening like this. <coughs> Looks absolutely class with all the rain clouds in the background. <coughs> and the sun coming through on all the greenery. Absolutely awesome. This is definitely why we do it. Just a shame all them goddamn coats are all over my bits again. But, can't have everything. 
see if any more fish turn up. Fingers crossed for some more tonight or tomorrow. I don't mind when. I'd like another one before we go, like, but can't grumble one I've already had. Nice 27 and a half pound common. Awesome fish. Does look good. There goes the sunshine. But still looks spot on. Nice, nice breeze blowing from behind us. Happy days. Good to be on the bank when it's like this. Can't fault it. Okay, speak to you all again soon. Hi everyone. Just going to do a slight variation of my bait and on these two rods that are at, at range over near the island. I'm going to get the old uh, throne stick out again. Got a crack and tailwind behind us, blowing them over. So rather than always use a spawn where you're just getting these small patches of bait in various places all the time, I'm going to use the throne stick and get a good spread over the whole area. Try and get the fish mooching about if you like, going from bait to bait to bait to bait and hopefully one's going to have a hook attached, nail it and that's it, job's a good one. Cheers now. They're landing absolutely spot on them. I'm doing it between four and six a time, so you're getting a good area spread all over the whole area, if you like. So, yep, hopefully that will pay off. Nice one, Arch. Hi, everyone. Just a final roundup for the night. Absolutely livid. I've been battered by the birds. Landed a tufty. Really tempted to ring its neck, but you know it is the liver here, so I had to let it go back. Actually, is still sat behind us going for the rudd and the roach and perch and stuff. Rudd and perch, I should say, there's no roach in here, I don't think. So, I'm going to have myself a nice little can of Copperberg and try and chill for the last hour of daylight. Have a quick go on the float rod, I think, and see if I can get a few rudd going for him. But other than that, I'll see you all again in the morning if I don't see you during the night. So, fingers crossed again. We'll try and catch another one. I think say during the night would be nice. Or early morning before the birds start down on my baits again. Swan's been a mess. As soon as you put a spam out, swan's over and it's diving. You, you just can't keep the bait going in. You have to wait all the time till the swan goes away and it just takes forever. But, never mind. All part of the fun, as they say, as I keep saying, which it isn't fun, but just got to put up with it. So, that's it then. I love you and leave you. And I'll speak to you all either in the morning or during the night. Just going to have this little can of Copperberg to try and chill a bit. Right, cheers for now then. Catch you all later. Well, good. Good evening, everybody. Got an absolute cracking fish to show you now. How does 45 pound 14 ounces sound? Told you we'd be chasing these big girls, isn't I? And he's one fight to look at if I can pick her up. How was that for a chunk? Proper chunk of saurus. Chasing big calf. Les Marsh and Archie. Get in there, happy days. One extremely happy northern angler. Absolutely over the moon with this. Look at the size of that. Yeah? 45 pound 14 ounces. What a fish. Absolutely buzzing. Same as he's got a mozzie's there on my head. I'll spin around for you, show you the other side. As far as I know, I think it's the 
first capture this year, I think. This particular fish. Come on, big girl. What a lump. Camera doesn't do it justice, I must admit. If you were ready to see the size of it. Absolutely immense carp. That's what all these miles are for. I like to see her chasing these big girls. How's that? Right, I'll get her back. Thanks for watching everyone. Cheers now. There we go. 45 pound. Deepens one carp. See you later big fella. Thanks for coming. And she's gone. Happy days. Get in there. This one, Arch. Thanks. Cracking fish. Cheers, dude. One extremely northern angler in the middle of the night. Happy days. How's that? Forty-five pound fourteen. If deep ends one, miracap. Absolutely class. One o'clock in the morning. Just trying to nod off. As you can see, I'm absolutely knackered because it weighs a ton and I'm getting old. But still, happy days. Had a few liners about half an hour ago and then it absolutely tore off. So, absolutely buzzing over the moon. Have to get sorted out. Quick cup of tea, try and get some kip, get the rod back out again. Okay then, cheers for now. Bye. Another chunk in the wasteland. Oh, oh, oh. Nice big, nice big common. Well, good morning again, my carp, my friends. Can't believe what I've got here. After that 40 pounder last night, I've only got a 43 pound common. What a stunning fish. Check this bad boy out. Oh. Look at that, for an absolute stunning common cap. What a fantastic fish. How around here, Hatch? How's that looking, son? Amazing. Look at the shoulders and head on that. Uh, it's bigger than yours. Huge. Near enough. <laughs> Chasing big carp, get in there. I'll spin around quickly, show you the other side, and I'll get her back. Whoa. 43 pounds, 7 ounces of amazing common carp. Oh, God, I'm going to get a bit of money here. Come on, big girl. Check that out. Oh, my dears. One extremely, extremely happy northern carp. Brace of 40s, how good's that? Mirror in the common. Happy days. Cheers now, thanks for watching. Well, absolutely blown away with this fish. What a stunner. 43 pound, seven ounces of Deepen's finest common carp. Tip her back off. She's just absolutely immense. Totally blown away. Totally blown away. You have that. Got the head and back and shoulders on that thing. It just amazed me. Absolutely amazed me all the time. How's that for a fan fish? She'll go when she's ready. Getting all the mucus out of her gills. There she goes. Waddling off. See you again, big girl. What a calf.
Awesome. Well, what can I say? Absolutely blown away. Only words I've got for it. Absolutely fantastic. What a cracking session. Brace of 40s. Awesome. Absolutely love it. Right, I'll speak to you all again soon. Time for a bit of breakfast. Cheers now. I don't know what's going on here. Just put that 40 odd pound common back and the other rod's ripped off now. It's had me over the bar and everything. It's almost jumped clear of the water at one point. Let's hope I get it in. It's covered in weed. Down to one rod now. Off again. Yeah, and again. Don't to see what's in there, do you? Horrible weed on the line, jams in your rod tip. And another one bites the dust. Awesome. I can't believe what's happening, we've had another one. There we go. I was after a long lean fighting machine. How mad's this arch? Oh, it's crazy. Oh. Absolutely mental. Uh, 28.7. Lean mean fighting mirror. Took us over the bar the lot. Right now, nightmare with it. Down to one rod out now. I was just resharpening the hook on the last one. Off that 40 pound common, and then this one ripped off. That's two, is it two 28 and two 40s now? Yeah. Yeah. Sure is. What a session. A bit special this session. Oh, yeah, bugger. Come on, just give us a quick look and I'll get you back. Here we go, one last look. How was that? Happy days. What a, what a morning's fishing. Right, I'll get it back because he's, he's obviously going bonkers. Cheers now. Well, that's getting quite regular, this, isn't it? Happy days. I think there's water all over the screen, I think. I don't know how good it's going to look. But there we go. Another deep and hard scrapper. Get her out then, this. <laughs> 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 
full of beans. Excellent stuff. There's Archie going for some supplies. Good lad, Arch. Thanks. Taking some rubbish to the bin and bringing the food back for our tea and our dinner. Good lad, Arch. See you in a bit, dude. Hello again, everyone. Well, how good was that? That was a bit of a shocker, wasn't it? I wasn't expecting that. But like you say, since the last session I was down, when it was like between 30 and 32 degrees, when we got down this time, it was all overcast, much cooler. We had a stack of rain on the first afternoon when we were setting up and everything, so and that's more than likely just uh, spurred them onto a bit of a feed, I think. Judging by the results we've had, like say, during the night, had the 28 yesterday common and those brace of 40s during the night which is just awesome and obviously the uh, other mirror struck leather about 28 pound odd so happy days so it's time for a bit of lunch we're having an easy lunch because like I say it's, it's turned hot again now would you believe it after that cool spell so on the fishing front don't know that could be it could have been like a, a 12 or 24 hour feeding spell and it could be done now, just don't know all the sky's like clearing again but we keep at them, keep chasing these big carp put some more bait out again later on usual spawns and throwing stick work and everything keep trying the new boilies which are working a treat at the moment as you've seen so for dinner we just have a nice easy cheese and onion top buns some nice egg mayonnaise to put in it and that's about it for, the, for lunch really obviously I'll be having my cup of tea and I should be having his orange juice or fruit shoot or whatever so yeah happy days it's all looking good so far so good but even if I don't catch any more on this trip now job's done 228 to 240s happy days can't fault that like well worth all the traveling all the hassle from the birds and everything else so yeah great stuff so that's it for now. I'm gonna have these couple of sandwiches and I'll speak to you again later on this afternoon if nothing occurs in the meantime. Okay then. Speak to you all again soon. Cheers now. Hey, that's how hot it's got. Archie's even succumbed to putting his feet in the lake. My feet are on fire. <laughs> Turned out proper hot, hasn't it? Yeah, sat watching my float chilling my feet in the water. Good lad. Gotta enjoy life, haven't you? Yeah. It's been stuck at home in your bedroom when you're drinking games and stuff. Yeah. Okay, I should just chill. Yeah. Hello again, everyone. Just a quick update. Nothing to report fish wise. I redone the rods. I've had a slight change around this time. Um, I've got two rods over towards the bar. Almost like side by side, if you like, in the same area where I've been. Uh, Putting all the new boilies out with a stick and stuff, and I've been using the spom as well, just to give them something different to go over. Really, like I say, off they'll keep searching around and stuff, and come across the oak bait, and maybe nail another one or two tonight. They don't know, but weather's been all over the place. It's been absolutely scorching hot, and then all of a sudden it just clouds over, wind gets up, and it's blowing a hooligan now. Sun's gone in, looks absolutely perfect, proper carpy. But if, as usual, it's all down to the carp to decide whether they're going to feed. Poor old Arch is having a nightmare trying to catch them rud the dead, just not playing ball at all. No. For some reason, don't know why, they've not seen a single thing today with regards to the roach and stuff, but no. we'll try again tonight. Yeah. They only feed on an evening time. They do. Over by this big willow here, we seem to get a few out, out of there. Nice little bay in there for him. Still got plenty of maggots left. Yeah, we'll give them a go tonight. Loads of little wrigglers. Multicoloured ones, so should appeal to everything. So that's about it really. Two rods over towards the bar. Like I say, they've been well baited up with boilies and stuff. Uh, and I've got one over this way. About there. 
at about 11 wraps I think it was so like you say just fingers crossed for tonight again really to see how it goes can't complain either way really so happy days really yeah spot on good stuff time for some, for some tea shortly I'm gonna have a brew and then have some tea see what we decide to go with there uh, I think Archie wants a little snacky tea tonight I think save cooking and stuff carrying on so yeah that's it really right I love you and leave you and I'll speak to you all again soon cheers for now bye hello again everyone like I was saying earlier time for tea now and Archie's won the draw this time gone for a nice snacky one for him not very healthy but can't have it all the time can we and Archie loves this sort of thing so it's his turn to choose today so we're gonna have some fri fridge raiders is that right yeah fridge raiders just say powered by protein mm. we we'll see some of his favorite cocktail sausages not little and he's gone for a bag of snack pork sausage rolls heart attack in a bag how good's that I have to sort myself when I get home tomorrow won't I blow my neck I have to have a full detox after that body won't know what's happened to it oh we've still got a couple of yogurts left as well so yeah that's about it really see what tonight brings okay then catch up your all again soon cheers for now bye hello again everyone favourite time of the day Sun's going down, just sitting by the rods, watching the water, see if there's any carp shown for later on. Having a nice chill, cracking evening. Got a nice bottle of cider, nice strawberry and lime cider. And the Nature Valley crunchy oats and honey bars. So, nice little slack, nice little drink after a cracking day. Been a brilliant day today with all them big fish. A couple of forties, you can't argue with that, can you? So yeah, happy days. Normally on here, like you say, when you've had a like three or four fish, normally that's it then. You don't get no more. You're normally better off going home because you're just wasting your time, but like you say with this weather keeps changing all the time and cooling down and that there's always a chance of my feed again tonight, so I'll give it one last night, see what happens. Fingers crossed as usual. And it's just like you say, I know I keep saying it all the time, but you just never know when they're going to rip off, so just see how it goes. So, all the best for now, everybody, and I'll speak to you all in the morning. If not, I'll see you during the night, hopefully. Ah, oh, that's nice. Okay, then, bye for now. Cheers. Hello again, my carpy friends. Nothing else to report during the night. Quiet night, other than the birds picking me bum and baits up all night. Started about half past one. Caught a tufty around four o'clock, another tufty about six o'clock, so been a bit of a mare really. And the top of it all off, it's absolutely lashing down, so it's a quick wind down in the bivvy, and I'm just going to dash out and put the rods away and everything. Had a good tidy round inside, as you can see, it's pouring down. It's a wet one, but can't complain after all that sunshine we've had, can we? It's been a cracking summer so far for sun. So that's about it really, all done and dusted, been a cracking trip, new bait work to treat obviously, base of 40s, absolutely mega, proper chuffed with that, really good, absolutely over the moon, been a fantastic trip that way like, just a shame it's pouring out to pack up but we all know what that's like don't we, absolutely horrendous, and a miles from the car park as well but all part of the fun. Archie's enjoyed himself as well I think so if you haven't already can you please subscribe if you don't mind much appreciated nice one Arch see you later again everyone good lad right that's it then it's a, it's a wrap all done jobs are good and we'll figure out to get you down and get back to the car like drown rats but not going to complain this trip, we've had some cracking fish like I say, so I'll see you all again soon. Cheers now, bye for now, bye, bye.